YouTube, YouTube, this your boy Sherman RC, I'm back, people. This is just a video I always put up, video after I do the, the um, my out the run video, show you how, um, how important maintenance is to you, to your whip, people. These for my newbies out there that's on my channel, you know what I mean? Once I get done with them and stuff, I get them back clean just like you. She was, get her ready for the next album, people. Yep. I didn't come back with a video yesterday. Like I said, I was tired up yesterday. And, uh, but I did find time to, uh, to clean my whip up. That's very important, people, for my newbies. Keep your whip clean, man. Keep your maintenance up on that thing. You know, if you want it to run good every day, I know we all we all stress that maintenance part, and that's very important when it comes down to these little wheels, man. They're just like a regular vehicle, man. Keep keep your drive train free. Should last a long time. Yep. Polish the pipe back up. Man, I really don't have to do that much to the pipe though, but you know, just use my policy cloth and Polish it up to the 2143. It's that um, small small header right there. I got the medium header coming in. And um, I'm just going to sit it to the side, though. That's going to be for something, something, something totally different right there. I'm not going to get into it yet until I get what I'm planning on using that medium header for. I'm gonna get the red medium header. Yeah, YouTube, this uh this your boy just coming back, man. Let y'all see. Was just showing how I got my whip. Clean the gear right on back up, man. And then show y'all a, a few things that I actually use for my newbie. You know what I mean? Dealing with my my different oils. But I use to keep my bearings lubed up. Grease it up. I used that black grease for to do my um, CVAs, but I didn't have to do any maintenance on these just quite yet. I'm sorry, people. I don't have to do quite, I mean, no maintenance on that one just right now. But you can see how grease it got a little oil up in it. And then it was well to this side right here. Yeah, but I use the CRC. I know I showed y'all that one time in a video. The CRC grease. I, bear, I mean, the bearing oil. I get this from, um, I got this bearing oil from um, A-Man. And I use this Liberty oil. It's a Liberty oil product. It's supposed to be 100% synthetic lubricate lubricant so um i got this from off of, um amazon you put in barren oil and this oil one of these oils will come up i don't remember the price of it but i had it for like about two months now i also used it on the truck and when i did the deep clean on the truck and it's actually yeah this is a deep clean i actually did on this when i take it apart I take both front caps off and everything like i did um the hurricane over there take the front caps off engine out tank out all that type of stuff people but when you when you start doing it it don't it don't take as long you know what i mean you get used to taking your car apart putting it back together so that makes you get more from familiar with your with your platform too people and i learned that man over time so it make me more familiar with this platform what it's needing and what what is lacking and what i need to do to it you know what i mean I did the shocks last last build. Yeah, and I'm running 37 in the front end rear on this one. Um, I used the team associated shock oil. Yep. I used the team associated shock oil. So I'm using this 37 on the front and the rear of this one. Cause like I said, I was gonna set it up for the track, but she probably she still set up for track because I still got the seven thousand in the front, ten in the, in the middle, 
and I have uh, 3,000 in the rear. I'm gonna leave it like this to the time because I just recently changed those diffs out with the diff oils out. So when it coming down to another time for me to do that, change the oils out, I'm gonna probably go thicker with it. And um, this is gonna be a different setup, probably from that team Durango. I mean, yeah, that uh, hurricane over there. The team Durango gonna set it up a little different. I'm gonna try to go heavier with this with this one right here. Do 60, 30, 30 on this one. And uh, lead that team to rank. I mean, that uh, hurricane over there, Red Cat Racing over there, she's gonna be at uh, 15, 30, 15, just like the same setup I've been had on it all the time. So it's running pretty good with that. Oh, you know. But that's that. Uh, that's gonna be the next album. Put that one out there. Like I said, that Truggy, she gonna sit still, but she's ready. She had her deep clean already, people. Time to get her dirty again now. Well, like I said, if my business will pick up, man, I'm able to, I have a little more money to play with now, people. I'm putting some up, putting some away. It's almost time for me to play again. I'm about to start ordering some more stuff, man. But like I said, I'm going to pull that trigger on that platform first, though. That's going to be my, my new platform. Like, I'm already buying the parts for it, so that's going to be my main goal right now. Cause right now I got um front, center, and rear diffs coming in for that new platform. That's gonna be just my backup diff. And I love to have two sets of diffs, man. It's just it's just me. Cause I'm I'm redoing one right now. And that's gonna be for the hurricane, or that's gonna be a backup. So I'm gonna go 30 back 30 with this one. I just put new gears in it. Put new gears in it. Putting a new, um, it's a 47 to um, spur gear people. I'm putting on there, this is the 46 right here. The one that I actually broke the tooth on, the teeth on, the two teeth that are missing. But you know, like I said, you got to have your spare parts. So I went back with the same 46 to on this one. So, but I got two more 46 that's in the bin over there, backups. But I'm going to try this 47. I ordered the 47 and it just came in. So I'm going to try this 47 out. See what it put, what kind of power it's going to put down. It look a little thinner than the other one, but it is what it is, man. It look a little thin, but, uh, but they, they really the same size. You know, they just look a little thin because it's, it's a darker color instead of that gunmetal color. Yep. But this is what your boy doing on this Sunday, man, because I got to go to work tonight, people. So tonight be my Monday night. So I'm trying to make this time and just do a little updates and, and um, tightening up screws and bolts. Just uh, doing the once over. Like, um, you know, you're supposed to check, recheck your whip, make sure everything tight. And I don't know, I don't learn from that, people. I'm not going to, you know, just put the stuff together and then take it out there. I got to let everything sit. You know what I mean? I just set the engine in there. So the engine was out. Made sure I got all that stuff cleaned out. I'm talking about I get all the grind. I take the head off, cool the head, get, clean all that stuff out, the button and everything. Then put it back up. Cause that's, that's vital too when you're taking your glow plug in and out. You know what I mean? To put the oxygen run oil in there, you don't want no debris to fall in it. So. That's one of my things, people. You know what I mean? You don't have to do what I do. That's just what I do. And I'm just, uh, I figured I'd share what I'm what I'm doing. Keep my whips up and all that type of stuff. Keep the maintenance up on. And then I, I, I might still just, you know, when I get to a track, just take this one with me. You know, take all three of them with me. Truggy, the, um, the new platform when they come in and uh, put it together. Take it with me. Just take this one out there, too. But that, that hurricane over there, she's just going to be strictly for bash. I'm strictly running around in the backyard like I did to Team Durango. That's what she for. Get my nitro feel at home, people. And then this one right here, she's going to be the same way too, though. But she's, I can take her to the track as well, though. I'm telling her, look how smooth those bearings is, man. 
I use simple green like everybody else use. Spray the whole thing down when you take all the electronics and stuff out. And all that type of stuff. Spray the whole, let it sit for a minute. Spray it down. Water. Get my air, my air hose. Blow the whole car out. Go back with uh, WD-40, man. All up in there getting, all up in there. If I ain't got my WD-40 out, I use my Amazon metal detector. Metal protector, yep. I spray it down with this too as well, people. Spray it down. Let it sit. Go back and blow it down. Blow all it. Let it mix it all in. Blow it out. Come back in. Do my best. Yep. Get them bearings lubed up real good. Put her up. Like I said, I brought the ghost back out, people. Haven't ran this body in a while. I'm trying to get the little, get my other body a little break. I mean, put this one on here. Put some miles on this one. So, yes, well, yeah. She look good with that thing going too. Alright people, this is your boy Sherman RC. I just wanna show you guys the update. And uh y'all keep up the uh, good videos coming man and all this type of stuff, man. Y'all have a blessed day, people. Alright, later.